Renal Support Network was founded in 1993 by me, a patient who has survived this illness for 54 years. And it's always been my goal to let my peers know that they can, you know, survive, thrive, and live the life they want to live. It's just going to take some navigation, some determination, and a dose of hope coupled with excellent medical care. So we like to say that we try to help people with the support side because I know one friend makes a difference. And in 2022, uh, we did a lot to help engage people who have kidney disease and let them know that they're not alone with this illness. The renal team prom is very special to me. I spent all my teenage years on dialysis from age 12 to 24, and I didn't want my peers to miss this coming of age event. So even though COVID was lurking again uh, this year, we decided to have a virtual event via Zoom and the amazing George and Mayan Lopez gave us a personal tour of Ripley's Believe It or Not. It was a fun evening um, on Zoom. We all had little gift boxes we opened. We had a DJ and we just celebrated as best we could, even though we couldn't be with each other. And we're hoping we can have a safe prom this January. Well, and we have Kidney Talk Magazine. This is a labor of love for everybody at Renal Support Network, from the imagery to the stories. We just want people to feel educated and hopeful when they pick up this issue. And we have on the cover is, you know, a story. Nick gave Leslie a kidney, and then he proposed, and he's photographed there with our little Share Your Spare campaign. And Bonnie, who was on PD, and telling her story about managing dialysis so she can be with her grandkids. And uh, she just recently got transplanted. It's just so wonderful to to share these stories with my peers. And I hope you enjoy the magazine. It's at no charge, and we mail it to people, so you can go online and sign up for it uh, to get a hard copy, or you can um, get an electronic copy. They're all on our website. Third Annual Hope Week was an amazing event. We had over 800 people sign up, and 400 people attended, and we Zoomed for over 25 hours. It was full of inspirational stories from patients, incredible educational topics from healthcare professionals, uh, innovation that's coming down the pike. Uh, we had a great virtual exhibits. Uh, we just, we hung out for five days and the youth panel was incredible. So it's all on our website and we'll be doing it again next year. So join us. Well, one of my favorite programs is the annual essay contest. I have been reading incredible essays for over 20 years. And if you want to be inspired, just click on our website and you can read all these amazing essays and to hear the patient's perspective of how they survive and thrive. And uh, Joy's was absolutely amazing. And we also did an art contest. I know creativity is such a big, important tool for surviving with an illness and uh, we have a lot of creative folks out there so uh, check it out on our website well we have all kinds of support groups from get fit to book club to get creative to foodies to um you know just getting together twice a month and chit chatting about what's on our mind and you know one of the good things is that uh People are more comfortable with Zoom, so we're really excited that we can offer this way to connect. So one frame makes a difference, so come check out a support group. Now, Kidney Talk podcast is so much fun for me because I get to interview experts, people who have survived and thrived with this illness, and uh, we just get down to the nitty-gritty. Like, I spoke to a peer about... Uh, UTIs, which is a common problem when you have a transplant, and we get down to talking about what kind of underwear we need to wear, and we talk about the the dinner blues when you're on a renal diet, like what do you eat, and how do you figure out how to make the right choices, then of course, you know, about transplant and living donation, and making choices about treatment, you can hear all kinds of people on our podcast, so, and it's all uh, available on any podcast player. Advocacy has always been important to Renal Support Network and providing the patient's perspective. I know from an early age that you have to speak up and 
give feedback, um, either it's a local, state, or federal level. And we do that where we can. Um, we are in support of a lot of policies that support people who have kidney disease, from getting Medigap insurance to having access to insurance. Uh, the Living Donor Protection Act is really important. We're really passionate about more people going on home dialysis. And, uh, you know, and then we get a little bit into the nitty gritty about the quality measures and the rules. And it gets a little bit overwhelming, but it's really important to advocate and it takes time to learn about these subjects. So you can be prepared when you're representing the patient voice. And a really fun animated video series that we launched this year, uh, Share Your Spare um, was the beginning of it. It is a little kit that people can use to to start the discussion about transplant. But we took our little animated characters, Neff and Nuff, and we decided that, you know, they should talk about the importance of taking your immunosuppressant meds. They should t talk about the importance of what causes kidney failure. They should talk about the importance of, um, you know, what it's like to get a transplant and and how do you go about it in, you know, deceased donor to living donor? And and what's really wonderful about that is both of the animated videos are available in Spanish. So we hired some incredible, talented um, uh, comedian actors, and we tried to make it a great uh, uh, tool for the community. We're really and, excited uh, to offer a transplant dashboard on our website. It, it can be really confusing to find information, and some of the government websites are a little bit complicated. So one of our community members, Mark, who donated a kidney to his best friend, uh, works for a company called Salesforce, and they volunteered uh, their time and energy to help pull some of the data from some of the government websites and make it very simple to understand some of the key issues we want to talk about. And one of the key issues is, is that over, you know, they say close to 100,000 people are waiting for a kidney transplant, uh, but only 57,000 are active on the transplant list. So it's really important for uh, people to be informed and make sure that you're not missing any appointments or if you were hospitalized to uh, m make sure you know where you are on the list and what you can do to further your, your objective. And then, you know, if you're a living donor, how do you find the centers that do living donors and do multiple? I mean, uh, where is it convenient for you um, when you look on a map if you're in a, a certain area of the country? So check it out and, uh, you know, be informed. We know that it has been a tough year with COVID for healthcare professionals. So we created a little campaign to tell you how much we appreciate you. And this campaign consists of several little pins called You Make a Difference. Uh, from an octopus to a lotus flower to an elephant, we never forget when we have a good healthcare professional or caregiver. So check it out and tell somebody that you uh, appreciate them. So we've had a pretty busy 2022. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter, and uh, you can go to our website. If you're not getting our magazine, you can sign up and get our Rean alerts that they go out weekly. And we're, uh, we're, we're privileged to be able to serve people who have kidney disease. It's been an honor and your support means everything to us. So we wish everyone a happy new year, a healthy ha and happiness to everyone and uh, be well.